What's up? What just happened? I don't know what just happened, but what's up, people? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. It's me, it's Glenn, it's M. What's up? You're we about to sit. Me. I nearly choked on my own air. We about to sit down and become professional relationship advisors today. Okay, I put up a poll on Instagram. You lost send me some questions. <sighs> Topic was relationship, travel, but I'm just gonna answer relationship because these questions are funny and we've never really got into all that shit with each other. We tap on our Q and A's, but we yeah. never really got truly into the relationship. <laughs> so drop the video a like. We're gonna try and hit three thousand likes. Okay, if you don't hit that, M is gonna be upset. You gonna cry? Yeah, I'll cry. Please. Do you want M to cry? Please, three thousand likes. No, you don't. So hit that like goal and enjoy the video. <laughs> I got it. What's up, people? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. Before we get into the video, Strange. Now we can start. Hi, people. Uh, the topic is relationships because we in one. Yeah. What's up? Are we friends? We're gonna crack on. We are professional relationship advisors right yeah. now. <laughs> Let's get real on them. Let's get freaky. Okay. First question. Will's now seven. How do you and M manage busy schedules to see each other and stay happy? Okay, really quick. We see each other every day. <laughs> <laughs> but. We train after she's in college, and then after that we're both free, so yeah. we can chill out. So I mean, for we're, now. yeah. Why for, why for now? Once I actually start working, then we won't be seeing each other. We much. will. Look at this one. <laughs> we won't be seeing each other. Glad we're here. I want to see your ass. It's been six minutes. <laughs> Neil, I can't pronounce your second name. Uh, how does one stop himself from getting easily jealous on a night out when your girlfriend is talking to other guys? This is very simple, okay? When you're on a night out and your girl is talking to other guys, stop, hold up right there. She shouldn't be. <laughs> like, how, how would you get jealous if I'm talking to girls? Well, the only girls I talk to on a night out are friends, so. Yeah, I can't really get jealous over that, but like. Let's someone... say girls run up for a picture. You just see me in the corner like this. Yeah, if you ever catch M at the back of a picture when someone's taking a picture of me, you better hurry your ass up, you have six more seconds. If she's just talking to a friend or something, just don't worry about it, man. If she's with you, she wants you, so stop stressing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Brehenny97, how do you deal with your girl getting loads of DMs and the other way around? I don't really care. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because if like you're replying to them, maybe. Yeah. Maybe then. It's different if they're getting DMs and they're replying to them. Yeah, like entertain then you, the DMs. Yeah, there you go. Don't entertain they ass. Yeah, don't entertain the DMs and that's simple. That's that. Yeah, man, if your girl is out there replying to the DMs, better be on the last. He wants to keep this anonymous. Was with girlfriend for nine months, broke up six weeks ago. Is it, er is it early to move on? Six weeks without seeing each other? No. I'm back on the market. I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know what nah, you six mean weeks. By that. Like, like he's not where, six weeks. Is he not talking to her? You're Doesn't not matter. Talking yeah, no know. talking over six weeks. Mm, yeah, I'd say you could actually move on. Move on? If you should move no, on, bro. You know what, actually? You should keep an eye out, okay? You should see if she's moving on. Yeah. And if she's moving on, that's the green yeah, card. She looks like she still wants you, don't move on. Because well, then it's still... Open. It depends why you broke up, basically. Yeah, true, that man. Well. If it's some serious shit. Well, if you're broken over six weeks, it must be some serious shit. Yeah. Otherwise, that will be mended in eight and a half seconds. I'd say move on, man. It's been six weeks. If there's still no sign of you was getting back together, get your ass back back out. Why do I keep stuttering? <laughs> get your ass back That's the coffee hit my ass up and have a heart attack. Get your ass back out on the market and just move on. Would we ever get matching tattoos? Be cute. No. <laughs> nah, if I was gonna get a matching tattoo, it would be like a symbol. It wouldn't yeah. be like words. No, no. I love my baby. <laughs> yeah, I love Emily. She clean. Maybe a symbol. Some Not the exact same yeah. symbol, but a symbol that, that they match. No, yeah. they, they like connect together and they like make sense together. Like yin yang. That makes sense together, you know what I mean? Not that but like the <laughs> <laughs> Michael P. Kent. Did you have to mix up your uh uh, game when you had your cast on. Yes, man, that shit was hard, but you know, you boy, I'm out here, I'm a trooper, I'll make shit work. I put it there, work. Someone just said, don't break up. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan Wiggs, if she asked you to skip the gym a lot to spend time with her, if she didn't train, what would you say? I'd say, um, look, I need the gym in my life. That's a fit, they go crazy. If I'm not hitting the gym, I'm hitting your ass. <laughs> <laughs> 
That was, I, I don't like answering these questions because it's not our scenario, so yeah. I'm not going to give advice on it. But um, if she's like trying to pull you away from the gym too much, you need to sit her down, you need to say, baby, we need to break up. That's just being not understanding, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, man, then she's not an understanding person. Do you want yeah. that person in your life when you're a millionaire, you at the top of the top, and she don't understand that you're rich and you have all this... <laughs> <laughs> Lads, I'm being sarcastic in some of these answers, so don't just too sarcastic, think I'm an ass, okay? No, because I was about to say some poo tag. Yeah. That makes me sound like I'm a cheater. I'm no cheater. I'm messing, okay? Any travel plans? No. No. Man, we, we did a lot this year. I we wish. did a lot. Yeah, I was only looking back at stuff. We did a lot. We was over there. We was over here. We was back there this year. What to do when she's bigger? What? That's just me. Come on. Amy Mulligan. How to get over a serious breakup. Have not been able to go to the gym over it. Go to the gym, man. Do shit. Stay occupied. I think the only way to get over a breakup is to just be patient, man. I think with anything in life, death, breakups, any like emotional shit yeah. you're going through, time. 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 Time is everything. Time will heal. Time is everything. Boom. Time will heal your ass. Your ass injured. Does fitness ever get in the way of your relationship? Pros and cons of you both being into fitness. No. <sighs> Look, lads, all we do is train. Uh, Glenn, I get a text. Glenn, you training? Yeah, where are you? House. Okay, coming. KK. Yeah. That's it, man. We only go like an hour and a half a day. It doesn't really get in the way of anything. If yeah. it gets in the way of something for one of us, the other one just trains alone. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? No. I just have a random picture of feet. How often do you see M? Um, probably every day. Yeah. If there isn't a day, uh, we're worried what's going on. <laughs> I'm joking. Probably no. every day. Uh, Max Galuli. How long have you and M been dating? Probably a little over a year. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever considered having a... Let's not answer that. I'm messing. <laughs> it's bad. Holy shit! Sean Duggan, would you ever go out with someone who's not into fitness at all? Lived an unhealthy life, etc. So let's say I was like not into the gym, I was smoking, I was out doing craziness. I'm that person that'd probably try and change you. Yeah, for man. For the better. I just like, if I really liked you as an actual person yourself, like deep inside. She has like, faith in your ass. I have a load of faith for people, like a load. Too yeah. much. So I wouldn't try and change you. I try, I try and like persuade you to, to make yourself better. Look at M over her. M selling herself as a good human being. You say I'm not, no? <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Cooper underscore coats. What was you and M's funniest drunk stories? Off the top. I would say me and Anne were in a bar one time. We were talking about getting McDonald's drive through and we completely yeah. mixed up our sentence. The two of us were so drunk we couldn't even talk. I was saying, let's go get Blanchestown drive through McDonald's. And we were genuinely having a conversation like that. The, the reason I know that is because we recorded ourselves. Yeah, and I watched we're, it back. We had a conversation on film about getting McDonald's drive through yeah. And I mean, Maybe I was so. slipping wars left, right and center. I was out here speaking different languages. Too what would you say? Honestly, there's actually too many. Just a quick one. Oh, just you all the time when you can't handle yourself. Yeah. Lads, when I get messy, I get messy. That's because of prep, I think. I yeah. didn't drink so much. I didn't drink at all on prep, so when I start drinking again, I nights out, one or two pints, and I'm wobbling. Ben Savage, you are, um, which one is punching? I'm going to let you answer this. Me? <coughs> For that, Yori. Which one's punching? Like, which one is punching above their weight? You know, like, you're out of my league. But you're just doing that burp you are. Wow. <laughs> I'm joking. So I'm punching? No, no, nobody's punching. I don't think that. I'm punching. Thing. I'm punching. No, you're not. I'm punching. How? Look at you. <laughs> I'm punching. <laughs> Punky Will. That's a strange name. Yeah. Yo, Big G. What's up, bro? What's happening? You should call me that. Yo, Big G. You should call me Big G. <laughs> Big G. <laughs> okay, you ever find it hard to bust a note when cutting? Sex drive be hella low. Right, I'm gonna get personal with you lot. I think for the last month of prep, no action. Yeah. Because yeah. me, I was a letdown. I was no man. Lads, prep turns you into a female. <laughs> you meant to be a man, man. You meant to get all up in that shit. You meant to put in there. Work! <laughs> Sorry. I should keep it PG in your house. People is upstairs. But uh, yeah, definitely sex drive is low. That's, be that's just because your body is in survival mode. You don't want to be reproducing, okay? Your instincts is not like, we need to reproduce. Your instincts, yeah, your instincts is, give me some carbs. <clears throat> big G. I like that shit. I'm Big G this book. Do you fart in front of each other? I just farted like yeah. two minutes ago, man. Even the last video that we had together. That fart stinks, stink. <laughs> plans for 2020 off in a <laughs> let's say travel plans I'd say 
definitely the US again, somewhere sunny, and then all the expos, she probably come on some of them. I think I'm heading to Toronto early next year because the Royce HQ was built. That's all I can think of. You? I'm going back home, as usual. Yeah. She come on a few trips yeah. with me. Best chat up line. If you saw me on the streets, you say he fine. He looking real nice. He got that scrumptious hair. Scrumptious hair. Whatever. Let me roll with it. He got the nice biceps. His ass rounded like a cupcake. I want to talk to him. <laughs> what are you saying? What are you even saying? What are you saying? You, you rolling up on my ass and what are you saying? I don't think chat up lines are like... Just no. Just what are you saying? You roll up on me like that. What are you saying? <laughs> hey, hey, sweet cheeks. <laughs> You better not! I would roll up, I'll say... What's up with that ass? I'm joking. Nah, man, chat lines are 2006, old. man. A chat line is a put-down line, okay? You putting her down. <laughs> you fin you about to pick her ass up, you said, no, you put her down because she out your league. You using chat lines. You in the lower class league, you in the league F. Who's the boss? That's from Stefan K96. Who's the boss? I'm waiting. Say that again. <coughs> For those that didn't hear what she said, she said me. I don't boss around on people, but I'm like the. There's just like. I like your opinion, and I like yeah, when yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. She, you, she when just you listens to me, you yeah, know. I she like listens listen. to me. I am a listener. Uh, Will that Matthias did your stop working on prep? Yes, I'd say that that completely stopped working like the last two weeks. I was like, man, all I could like, what would turn me on is a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, William, just William. What do you prefer more, solo workout or going to the gym as a couple? I think there's a time and a place for both. Like when I'm stressed out, I'm dealing with shit. I like to train alone. Yeah. So I usually get that. I usually get those sessions in on the day she takes off. But um, see, I trained alone for like four years. You've probably always trained with someone. No, like. Would you prefer training with me or alone? With you. Yeah. Just and because we have I good like workouts. <laughs> yeah, we have good workouts. I, yeah. If, if when we trained, we didn't have good workouts, that'd be a problem. Yeah. William again, what do you find most annoying about each other? Not a lot. Yeah. We aight. Yeah. We cool. Grab. Be grab. We clean. <laughs> <laughs> We're all like talking over each other. <laughs> What's your girl's workout and diet routine like? Uh, workout routine and diet like? She trains with me. So. And she eats you. according to the macros I set her. She's yeah. a IIFYM type chick. Fit me. She eats healthier than me though. Like she eats veg and shit. I'm not a veg man. I don't like that veg. You stick veg in my face. I'm finna beat your ass. Make a case. How can you build trust in a relationship? This is Olivia free. Sorry. Probably pronounce, pronounce your name wrong. It's not Olivia anyway. Talk. Communication. Don't lie. Understanding. Um, understand. And just stop stressing man. Yeah. Fit me. If you're stressing you're probably gonna fuck up and you're probably gonna lie and shit, so just chill. Mm -hmm. What else would you say? I'd say do things the other person would want you to do without them knowing you're doing it. Yeah. That's a big one. And then like, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> That's just gone. I, I just had coffee, I forgot. Nathan Mac L14, how do you pull a board? You better sit this one out, Emma. No, no, right. I'll, take I'll, the ropes. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell them how, right? Okay. You go to the park. You sit down on the bench. No. Down you go bench. to the park, sit down on the bench, you get your goggles out, <laughs> you, you look up you into the trees, some... you look up in the trees and you spot yourself a bird and go catch that. <laughs> I don't even have to pull a board down. <laughs> okay, let, 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 me take, let me take it from here, Em. I got this. This is my shit. I would say, how to pull a board? Reply to their Instagram stories. <laughs> reply and don't give them a compliment. Or just like stare reply, at them. Reply, reply and give them the opposite of a of a compliment. She'll give you a cheeky reply back, and then you two kick it off and you get married. <laughs> now I'd say, look, if you're gonna pull a board, meet them organically, okay? If you're gonna pull a board on social media, don't hit them with the what's up. Don't send them a snap of your fresh trim. They don't want to see that shit. Yo, trim, weak as fuck. Yo, barber needs to quit. <laughs> I got your hair on me. Yeah, I know. I have it on over Reply to it. Reply to a story, okay? Make a joke. Make it casual. Talk as friends for us. Don't come in. What's up, baby? Let me take you on a date. You scrumptious. Yo, ass nice and peachy. Don't do that shit. Mikey Murray, Big Willie. <laughs> okay, this is the interesting one. M Sancha underscore. Do you guys have different sex drives? If so, how do you deal with it? I think when you're in a relationship a long time, you both start to like, let's say my sex drive is up here because I'm a lad and yours is just normal. You both start to like meet at a level. Like you are, you are used to doing your thing, you just have it when, it when you want it. And it just happens when the both of you want it. And it's usually the both of you want it at yeah. the same time. Yeah. So I'd say as a single lad, me, because single lads are just crazy 
testosterone and all that shit. If you're doing it too much, it just gets shit. Just, it just, yeah, it makes it boring. Like, let's say I was crazy. It's like, and where you what every single day? It's like, Glenn, slow down. This shit get boring. When I start bulking again, my sex drive was high. Because mm -hmm. when I jump off prep, start eating again, I was like a young bull. Had to cage me up. Man, this is like honest. This is honest. Dragos does doing it keep a relationship happy? Yeah. 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 I'd, if, let's say I just stopped, what would you start thinking? Why? Why did you stop? Who else would are you? Would you start, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who else are you going to? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd say yeah, man. It's like, it shows like <clears throat> compassion towards yeah, each other. Yeah, and actually sex is like something that you probably like exchange like connections towards each other. You a girl, you know I don't know what, what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean though? Yeah, like, I know, it's I know, it's I like know. more spiritual, you start to love each other more. Yeah. Uh, HFD, Mrs. gets defensive when I give her tips on training. What does your boy do? You're like that sometimes, man. When we're training, I'm like, fix this, fix that. She's like, stop! Because it's like sometimes like, I hate when people tell me Sometimes you, it. lads, sometimes you just need to shut up. Yeah. Just shut up. Sometimes. Because your ass was probably, never mind. You just need to shut up, okay? Sometimes. Just, because it's girls are hormonal and sometimes when you give them advice they don't take it right and then they take it to a they'll different say, level. They'll say, what you, you don't even love me. <laughs> Why are you insulting my ass? Just, tell me fuck. Just because I squat with one leg behind me at a 65 degree angle and the other one 90 degree angle. Why are you hitting up my ass? <laughs> How many times a week no. is we doing it? That's private man. Yeah. Get off me. <laughs> if this video gets 10,000 likes I'll answer that question. <laughs> okay, Steve. Are you two still together? Hi right, people, that is gonna wrap up the video. I appreciate you lot watching. We just steamed up. I know. Why is this oh, your shit, your window yeah, steaming. Window. That means I'm smoking hot. Anyway, if you want to see more videos like this where me and Em talk relationship, because that's how we good at. We in one. We in a relationship. We are relationship experts. We are professional relationship advisors. Sign up to our website, professionaladvisors.co.uk.ie. <laughs> oh, anyway, lads, drop the video a like. We about to go and train. I was supposed to finish this can, this, this uh, Q&A, but it's like still three quarters full. I'm still about to hit that pre-workout scoop. You know I ain't playing. Again. Appreciate the love. Let's hear. What's the like goal? Three. Three likes. Three Let's K. Hit. Three K likes. <laughs> Let's hear three K likes. Um, any last words? Goodbye. You do it. I'll do it. You probably break the shit. Bye. <laughs>